iPhone madness iPhone are you excited Ma can you feel the iPhone madness should I just let it sit there for a while and not open it nah it's dumb all right so here it is iPhone 3G um, I got this one at the AT&T store uh, so the line at Apple this morning even on day two of the launch was just ridiculous I got there at uh, 8 a.m. The store officially opened at 9. They'd been lining people up since 7, and the line was going to be, I was going to be in line at least for another 3 or 4 hours. So I walked down in the same shopping center, there's an AT&T store. They didn't open until 10. There were about 15 people in line. They had been, there was already an employee there who told them that uh, there were 60 iPhones in stock. Uh, not many 16 gigs, but I didn't care. So I waited there. Um, and about nine, I mean a little before nine actually, um, I got mine. So there you go. Very efficient. They didn't activate it in store. They activated my line of service, but uh, not, they didn't open it up and activate the phone, so I have to do that. Anyway, here it is. I got the black one. We'll get more of that in a second. Um, in the box, it's the very fancy Apple box with the molded plastic and the foam padding and everything. So you get, what do you get? Fingertips, <laughs> get it, fingertips. And your manual and uh, little instruction, little uh, cleaning cloth comes with it with the little iPhone logo there because the Apple knows how to do it. That's why people have been lining up because they like these little things. Um, earbuds. The new iPhone does not come with a dock like the old one does. Instead, um, similar cable, USB to iPhone, iPod connector cable. But then you've got this crazy new tiny power adapter. At least here in the U.S., this is the one they're giving you. And while it's a shame that there's no dock, um, I actually I like this power adapter. It's very small, much smaller than the one that came with the original iPhone, easier for traveling. So there's that. Let's take a look at the actual phone. So it feels good. It's plastic, glossy plastic, not metal on the back like the original. Uh, but the black is really slick with the silver iPhone logo. Again, this is the 8 gig model. There's your camera sensor on top, hold button. The headphone jack is finally flush mounted. Uh, it's about time that old one was just really a dumb idea. Uh, adapter, or rather the dock connector on the bottom. There's your, uh, your speaker jacks, your speaker grills rather. Um, I'll get my iPhone and show you comparison head-to-head. -head. Apple claims that this new one is much improved audio quality, and from re reports I've heard that's true. Uh, same buttons on the side, your hold switch, and your volume rocker. So basically the same as the original in terms of buttons and functionality and stuff, just a uh, different design. So I have to activate this. So right now it's just giving me the emergency option only. But let's do a quick head-to-head -head with the original iPhone. All right, so if you look at them real, real quick here, uh, iPhone 3G on the left, original iPhone on the right, you know, they look very much the same, uh, same dimensions, basically. Uh, the screen is the same size, same layout. You've got the one button on the bottom. You know, you can see some differences. The speaker grill on, on the 3G is silver now instead of just the matte black. When you flip it over, that's the big difference. The old one, the metal back, the new one, the glossy plastic. And then also it's more tapered along the edges. So even though the thickness is really the same in terms of the, the overall thickest point. Oh, I started some audio file playing. You see, this is why I'm a professional, because I do things like that. Um, but anyway, the new iPhone is tapered, and so it, it does feel a little more... You know, a little thinner in hand, not really a big difference. Uh, but I like the glossy black, it looks nice. And, you know, if you're concerned about it wobbling or spinning around on the table because of the rounded back, you know, a little bit, but not too bad. It's pretty, it's pretty well balanced and weighted. I don't think it's really going to flop around or spin around too much like some, some devices do. You know, we'll put it on a, a slippery service to test it out. But all right, there you go. The new iPhone 3G unboxed for your pleasure. I have to go activate this thing on iTunes. 
once I get it up and running, we'll be back with much, much more. And of course, uh, check out PhoneDog.com for lots more on the new iPhone and all of its competitors. And uh, hit me up with your questions. You can uh, email them or post them on the Phone Dog site, and I will try to answer as many as I humanly can. Till next time, I'm Noah from Phone Dog. Thanks for watching. iPhone Madness.